Like, we never left. Like, we We have the best uh, women's basketball players playing in the WNBA. We have the, now the best of the best here at USA. And they came from schools like Stanford, Oregon, Oregon State, Texas A&M, all of these places that we're going to. So we're feeding ourselves. We just need some other people to kind of also understand that they need to invest in this as well. Yeah, I mean, Tara, she's always, you know, she's always giving me sound advice. Um, not just as a, as a coach that has coached the USA team, as my coach at Stanford, and um, as my friend, you know, Tara, I, I've developed a relationship with her over the years that um, spans more than just the court. And for her to be here and for her to constantly, even throughout the, the WNBA season and um, overseas season, she keeps in touch. She gives me little nuggets here and there. Um, and throughout my USA journey, she's always been very supportive. She always um, understood my value and what I bring, uh, no matter the outcome. Um, I'm really excited to watch um, the Stanford freshman class. Mm -hmm. I've paid attention to Haley and Fran, and I think that they are clearly some some freshman studs. Um, we all know what it's like to be a freshman at a new institution, at a new college, on a new team. You're about to share four, four of the most important years of your life um, with some really special people, and it seems like they're really immersing themselves into it. They seem like great sports and great kids. Um, but I'm also looking forward to the veteran, uh, upperclassmen leadership, sorry. I'm in the league now, so I say veteran. Yeah, right. But um, in Dijonet and um, Kiana, uh, I had the pleasure of watching them practice last year and obviously following them. It's going to be exciting to see how Stanford does this year. First of all, when I started, it was Pac-10. And then I think by the time I was, it was, it was a junior, senior, it was Pac-12. So to see that number one conference in the country, I think that that is spec spectacular because so many so many years when I was at Stanford um, or even just in college basketball people didn't people couldn't name more than two schools in the Pac-10 or the Pac-12 and now to say that they're at the top of the pack uh, pun intended that um, <laughs> I know right oh gosh <laughs> but um, that is awesome you know I think that it's deserving it probably should have happened sooner in my opinion uh, because there's some amazing talent um, that we see come through in the Pac-12 now, especially in LA. We know so much about the girls that come through UCLA and USC. Um, it's amazing that it's being uh, recognized as such. So I'm excited. National champion is going to come out of Pac-12.